since so many penis owners get rid of it, does it really have a purpose? What's the good and the bad of it? What do I think about it as a urologist or what do urologists think about it? Why is it so controversial? What's up fam? So let's talk about foreskin. Yes, foreskin. It's that retractable fold that goes over the top or head of the penis. Since so many penis owners get rid of it, does it really have a purpose? What's the good and the bad of it? What do I think about it as a urologist or what do urologists think about it? Why is it so controversial? Yes, foreskin is a bit controversial, but I'm gonna break down foreskin 101. Although circumcision is particularly popular in the United States, the foreskin does have a role to it. We urologists actually refer to the foreskin as the prepuce, prepuce. That is the technical term. So the foreskin protects the sensitive head of the penis, the part of the penis that's really sensitive, protects it from friction and from the outside environment, almost like a blanket covering over. The foreskin also lubricates the head of the penis. The foreskin has specialized oil glands that provide its own lubrication called smegma. Didn't make up the name, okay, that's the real name, all right? And the foreskin is really sensitive. It has a lot of nerve endings, so it does play a role in sexual pleasure and sensitivity. So what can go wrong with the foreskin, right? Well, the foreskin can have some snafus that may require a specialist like moi, a urologist, to help with. One, you can get what's called a phimosis. A phimosis is where the foreskin is stuck up. It can't be retracted down to reveal the head of the penis. It can also get so stuck, I've seen this, it can get so stuck over the head that it covers the opening of the urethra, covers the pee hole. And I've had cases where a patient can't pee, it's trying to come out, but it's stuck right there because of that foreskin that's covering over it and we've had to open it up. Most cases aren't like that. Thankfully, and a lot of times we can treat cases by starting off with creams, steroid creams that slowly break apart the adhesions that are keeping the foreskin over the glands. When that doesn't help, we may then have to consider circumcision. Foreskins can also have paraphimosis. Now, phimosis, not an emergency. Paraphimosis, that my friends is an emergency. Paraphimosis is when the foreskin is retracted down under the glands or the head of the penis, but is stuck there. It can't be rolled back up. And that usually happens when the foreskin is retracted down and left like that for too long. So what happens is it creates like a tourniquet, okay? A tourniquet effect underneath the head of the penis. And the head of the penis can swell up, making it even harder and causing even more pressure on the glands of the penis. Now, in the most severe, Severe cases, this can lead to damage and tissue death and necrosis of the penis. So paraphimosis is a bit of an emergency. When that happens, we usually have to run in to save the day and get that foreskin back up over the glands where it belongs. The infection, there's something called balanitis and that is infection of the head of the penis. What can happen is, yeah, the foreskin is helpful to protect the head of the penis, but it also provides this moist, dark, space which fungi really love and overgrowth of that can lead to redness swelling and an infection that we may have to treat now it's usually treated with antifungal topical creams that slowly resolve the infection some patients may suffer from recurrent balanitis recurrent infections recurrent inflammation and therefore may elect to ultimately get a circumcision lastly foreskin injury Foreskins can be the inadvertent victim of zipper entrapment. This may require a trip to the ER where we, the urologists, might need to get creative and unhinging the zipper from the foreskin and freeing it back up. I'm gonna leave you with this. Urologist, we are foreskin neutral. We ultimately leave the choice of keeping your foreskin or not up to you, the patient. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and join me next week for more down there with your girl, your favorite urologist right here. Subscribe, hit that button and see me next time. Bye-bye.